that this is a Kosovo Albanian who was killed uh, during the time when NATO was attacking Kosovo and was killed by actually Russian mercenaries. So this is from the Jakova region and we found um, this scene which is basically through also um, speaking to investigators and so on that this is a Kosovo Albanian who was killed uh, during the time when NATO was attacking Kosovo and was killed by actually Russian mercenaries who were on the ground and his body was burned and through a variety of kind of natural um, the way that the, the burning happened and so on and basically left this outline basically which resembles a crime scene that you see kind of in movies and so on mm. the chalk mm. outline of the body mm. but this is actually the the con contains part of the body and its outline and of course it is a crime scene um and this is this man i'm assuming name is Kola it's june Dushmani. his What's name it? is kola dushmani this kola man. dushmani and this is actually was in the living room of of the home this was in a living room of a home in jakova yeah presumably this is june 99 uh, sometime during during the NATO attack, I don't know. We don't during have the NATO, exact. when when it finished? No, when when basically everybody was fleeing. Some people obviously stayed behind, and this this person stayed behind and was was killed. I know, but when did you photograph this? When? Oh, this I was able to discover it uh, once we were able to return. Yes, in, in June. In June, yeah. you, did you enter through Macedonia or Albania? I entered uh, back through um, for, through Prizren, so through I came Prizren. through. Yeah. Mm. I went in with the German, with the German, German troops. troops. Yeah. I was went in with the German troops then as well. I'm, 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 I'm really, really uh, touched by this photo because of it's actually uh, uncertainty. What, when looking at it, you don't know uh, what it is and it makes one very curious what, what it is. The next photo. Well, I mean, this is a scene that became all too familiar uh, throughout the war in Kosovo uh, of, of a funeral. Uh, this is... Um, family that lost uh, several members and this is something that unfortunately certainly as the war went on became almost a daily experience going from funeral to funeral when is uh, this this is in uh, 1998 mm. and one of the things that struck me is a difference between kosovo the war in kosovo and versus croatia or bosnia or even slovenia was that often more often the, there was more than one death often it was entire families um, it was very rarely a single, a single person. And then, of course, extreme things like Rachak and the Asharis, where it was you know, multiple, multiple people. But this seemed to be, for some reason, in Kosovo, much more of a regular occurrence. Mm -hmm. And it was obviously always incredibly devastating uh, to witnesses. We are followed by a photo of liberation. When was this and where is it? So this is here in Pristina, yep. um, you know, shortly after liberation. Because and we can see the Radio Kosovo building on the side. Oh, we know okay. yeah. that's, that's where Radio ta of, of Kosovo and, is. And you know, there was such incredible energy and positivity and relief uh, mixed in obviously with sadness as people were encountering um, what, you know, the remains of, of people that had been killed and so on. But at the same time, this was kind of the beginning of, of the new Kosovo. 